It's Tuesday night, so of course we're playing Operation Aegis, our Lancer actual play. I'll be your storyteller for the evening, Jason. And with me as usual will be Sarah playing Vika. Patrick playing Freddy. Carr playing Tiana. Eric playing Uriah. And Jeremy playing Kortev. Buddy. And who remembers where we were last week? See, Car, give us a review. <laughs> uh, Vika got her shit pushed in. That's, that's, that's every session. That's, 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 yeah. that's every session. This one was worse. <laughs> we we snuck on. We were officially on the ship. Um, I think we had just gotten on there, and alarms started going off. People started shooting at us. We shot back. Uh, one guy remained. Basically, we're like, hey, surrender the ship. We're like, no, we we don't think we're allowed to do that, and not really. And we started hacking terminals. That is correct. Uh, Patrick, did you have anything to add? I was actually saying I was on the comms with the captain, and essentially we were in the delay war between both sides. There was there I'll was stop mutual. You if you stop me. There was mutual delaying going on. Really funny. That, that just came up in Final Fantasy 2. It's the and... Spider-Man meme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I you also can't want to give a... Oh, I'm so mad. I can't uh, Eric, I can't remember your character's name now. All of a sudden Uriah. Was, uh, Uriah. Mm -hmm. I send... Being that we're having difficulty hacking anything out... <laughs> It's hard for us to hack anything outside of this bay. Mm -hmm. How about you... Basically, Freddy ask him, go for a walk and see if you can hack anything from the outside. Because since we can't get in from this bay... No, no, y'all got control of the bay doors. Yep. No, no, no. I'm talking about access to the rest of the ship. You're telling him to go on, like, the exterior of the ship and try hacking from there? Yes. Also, did we just that, do no. the, the, the Alucard go for a walk <laughs> from Melsing a bridge? I think uh, so. <laughs> no, but Alucard, it's been a while since I've seen Go I've, for a walk. <laughs> I haven't seen that thing in so long now, so, yeah. I'm sorry, that's the only thing I can think of. I do have I, I have a uh I got the I got the printer up and going. Yeah, we have the printer it. under control. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then the bay doors. Yeah, and y'all y'all had looked through the recent print uh, the recent uh uh jobs Files the printer the had done. Yeah. Yeah. Lots What's of like bomb, bomb casings. Bombs. Lots of bomb yeah. casings. Mm. Uh none of the radioactive material. You can't really print that out of Standard, you know, uh, supplies. Yeah, takes a whole different filament they don't have. The right, right. School. You gotta have that processed uranium <laughs> filter. Uh, uh, filament. Filament. You gotta. <laughs> I told filament. you to go back by. I told you to go by GMS and get that cartridge. Uh. <clears throat> I think Kortev wants to use the the printer in in the same way that you would like very clumsily use like a uh, the the TV on the on a on a refrigerator like those really fancy refrigerators that have the the door with the TV and like just very clumsily try to like backdoor his way into the into something on on the other side of the door. Oh, this whole time you're just hearing a drill in the background going to, going to Vika's neck. <laughs> <clears throat> really don't think we got time for that but knock yourself out I don't have the hacking skill that you guys do I'm doing whatever I can to help 
Well, I'm, and while I'm talking to, and the captain sees me literally just like whacking Vika's mech with a wrench, and somehow it starts getting better. Suddenly, it's en engineer from TF2. <laughs> All right. So you had, let's see, you taking control of the of the curtain. Uh, the small layer of nanites that keeps the atmosphere in. So they can't vent the atmosphere on you. You've taken yeah. control of the <clears throat> exit doors, so they can't lock you in here. Uh, what else? Big three D printer. Yeah, you've got you, you've got access to the three D printer now. I'm gonna print so many little tugboats. <laughs> this is this is a printer big enough to print a mech. Think of how big a bench you could print. I know. I said it to start printing Vika parts. <laughs> well, you're, you're talking about days. We discussed that. That would be I, like days, yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm making a joke. Mm -mm -mm. Uh. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, y'all were doing all that while Freddy was uh, stalling the captain. And, of course, while the captain was stalling Freddy... Uh, all of his IT guys were trying to delete uh, files off the sh off the uh, basically wipe the wipe the ship's hard drives. Well, I guess they'd be SSDs. Do we have any way to get uh, a map pulled up on any of the like panels in here, or is that something that's uh, hidden? Uh, no, actually, I want to say y'all had gotten a, an overall map of the ship. Yeah. Because you had, I want to say, Uriah had managed to stop them from deleting everything. Yeah. Yeah, I did get like a 30-something. Yeah. It was, I remember some ridiculously high number that I rolled. Yeah, there it is right there, 32. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> uh. Almost tempted to have Ty go invisible and find where the people are hacking and knock them out, but uh, well, that would be a deadly solo mission. Yeah, that uh, might be a bad uh, idea. I'm sure it would go fine for you. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, the most likely places they'd be they'd be doing their work from would be the bridge, the engineering section. Uh, which, according to the map, you know, engine control, power, all that's kind of run to the same area. Mm. Uh, and just just off of that's an actual kind of the um, core core of their computer system. You know, nice and centrally located in the ship, so it's not likely to get you know shot yeah. unless the ship's being torn apart anyway. Yeah. Are we going further into this ship, or are we standing here? Oh, well, we're gonna have to. Right. Looking around the bay, are there any other like pilot-sized weapons anywhere? Um, well, you did have an entire squad of infantry guys that died horribly. <clears throat> you could really you good. could look and see if any of their weaponry. Uh, is still usable. We'll do that. In there wasn't a there wasn't a mech in process of being three D built, was there? Uh, there was no. not. No, they had not been printing any mechs yet. Okay. Just parts that parts they needed for the ship, and and bomb parts. Yeah. Mm -mm. All right, and let's see what. Uh... Let's see, y'all were in boarding action last time. I believe they just had the baseline assault rifles and like the little one use uh, rocket launchers. Rocket yeah. launchers. Or rocket propeller grenades. The anti mech weapons, basically. Nah, uh, never mind then. Oh, come on. You don't walk around with a rocket launcher. <laughs> you know oh, yes. Let's commit war crimes today. <laughs> Not that. The... Oh, look! In the medical bay, a bunch of people. 
No more! <laughs> no, that's what Uriah is for. <laughs> What's this fine mist? She has a plus six of apply fist to face and melee weapons. Now there She's was have more fun. There was some discussion about the fact that the uh uh if the medical staff stayed in the medical bay, y'all weren't gonna do anything to them. Correct. Yeah, that yeah, that and the people in their uh Essentially it was quarters. me and the captain basically negotiating, yeah. essentially. So basically the non as long as the non combatants stay out of combat. Uh. <clears throat> so, we, so we have a map so do we know where the computer core is you do it's right off of the engineering section fantastic um, towards, towards the center of the ship so where the bridge yeah. is, the bridge is basically y'all are kind of at the ass end of the ship and the bridge is kind of on the opposite very opposite side mm. you know yeah. long ways and engineering will be at the back end because well the engines yeah, it's 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 more towards the back than towards the front, but it is a little bit deeper into the ship, uh, mm. like the main engineering section. Uh, yeah, but uh, like I said, the, the computer is is just off of it. Like I said, you've you've all got the uh, the map of the ship loaded into your. I always right. go with risk comms for some reason. It may just be how much I always like the pit boys, yeah. Depending yeah. depending on Cortez, if you have data plating, it's your HUD. The, the well, that's is true. Cortez has has uh what is effectively a pit boy. <laughs> Ty has a HUD. It shows her health. <laughs> I forgot about the fact that you you know, y'all being in Lance, y'all probably be in helmets and stuff, so yeah. Yeah. Um hmm. I'll just uh, well we need to stop them from purging the data so I say we head there. are we going splunk you way. stop them from purging the data for now as a computer splunk? guy you know for a certainty uh, you know given enough time they'll get around what you did of course oh, and there's okay. always the and there's always the fact that they could go down there with hammers and wrenches and just you know smash, smash stuff it. yeah that's why he's, he's, he's heading for the main computer <laughs> That that his, that is his location. <laughs> Vika is following. Like let's. There's only so much we can do from here. Yep. All right. You have you have probably accomplished most of what you're going to accomplish here in the uh, in the uh, uh, loading bay. And I actually do tell the captain. Unfortunately, captain. Considering the info warfare that's been going on while we've been talking, he nods. Um, he's not surprised. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, at some point it, he had glommed on the fact. Oh wait, he's stalling me while I'm stalling. Okay. Man. Unfortunately, our objective is thankfully, while the ship is ideal, I'd rather none of your personnel be harmed. Uh, he appreciates the restraint. Obviously, obviously, we both have our duties to do. Well, keep medical staff and non-essential personnel out yeah. of the combat zone. I have ordered non-combatants to, uh, you know, either hold up in their quarters or, in the case of the medical staff, in the medical bay. Very well. Best of luck to both of us. He just nods and turns off the break the connection. Do you tell every combatant where you, who, where you are and what you're doing? No. Or just the ones that we're all going up against? Partially because I don't... if we just ran down the hallways killing everybody in our path let's not. At least something I try to avoid. So Ty is going to stop before. repairing Vika's mech. Go invisible and then mag clamp onto the back of Uriah's half size mech. Oh, I am invisible on the back of Uriah. 
understand you're, you're that. Spider Man on the back of Spider Man. Yeah. You're a Spider Man on the back of Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I was watching that clip just today. I'm just picturing her back there just... using his shoulder to holding her rifle across his shoulder. <laughs> no, no, she's not she's not holding the rifle. Did you see rifle. that with she's the group like, of us or Huh? I'm talking to Jason. Did you oh. see that with the big group that we went to go see it or I think so. Okay. I don't remember. All right. Uh, she's going I... also going to ask uh, Rabbit and Koke to be uh be angry, but don't commit war crimes. <laughs> My legs out for me. Why don't you? <laughs> so are they going with you, or are they staying in the dog? They are staying in the dog. So okay. they're they're defending the rest of the mechs that do not have AI. And I'll also tell Whip, I'll stay with Koke and Rabbit, mm -hmm. but on all else, just make sure the other mechs are fine, and if possible, take people alive. He's not sure how possible that will be, considering he is very large and peoples are very small. <laughs> but he gives you the affirmative that he will try. Uh, I'm taking a uh, one of my drones with me. It's going to be the shield drone again. Okay. Just to have difficult, just to have that, that forward, like since everything's going to be like right in front of us. I figure and, give everything uh, difficulty. Question in this regard. Mm -hmm. Picking some of the soldiers who are down, do anything, any of them have an equivalent to a flashbang on them? I can roll investigate to check this. Uh, actually, I'm going to give it an even odd roll to see if they did or not. Alright. You know, they're mostly equipped for uh, anti-mech combat, but... So, high or low? Uh, high. It's a four, which is low on D20. Dang. So, no, they didn't have anything like that. All right. Uh. <clears throat> All right, so y'all start down the hallways. Who is taking point? Well, currently, Uriah is in the most armored. All right, so Uriah is in front, and Tiana is, you know, obviously second. Clamped onto it. Yeah. yeah. Clamped on, but invisible. Second. Yay. Well, no. Uh, Vico, pull up the rear. Okay. I'll have the shield drone in front of those of us who aren't on, in a mech. All right. So it's, but, it's probably like Uriah, um, Uriah, uh, Rabbit, and then the shield drone, and then everyone everyone else. Okay. Well, the shield drone in the middle like that would probably cover everybody. Yeah. All right. So y'all are heading down the hallway. Uh, hallway's mostly empty. You know, the captain seems to be good to his word. Most, most everybody seems to have cleared out. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Well, that and the ship probably wasn't fully staffed anyway, because under construction. Yeah. Uh, but you do come to a downed blast door. You know, somebody has managed to drop one of the blast doors. Well, y'all want to hack this while I keep an eye on things? And when you said down, you mean someone had sealed it, correct? Right, right. The blast door had dropped Okay, when you said down, my first thought, there's someone else here? No, 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 no. Okay. All right. I got a four plus hack fix. Okay. Anybody else? And? You have an advantage, or? Yeah, I could be hand. All right, there is somebody in the system working against you. So it's a robot. And uh, first off, 20 is the number to beat. Oh, got there. Event. 
No, oh, he, no he, he, never mind. Yeah, he said 20 was the roll to beat. Unfortunately, the D6 17. rolled a 1. Yep. Did you add your grit? Yep. Yeah, you did. Okay. I rolled a 10, plus 7, plus 1. Okay, so you know you're you're trying to get it open. They're trying to keep it closed. They are succeeding at the moment. Uh... Oh wait, it would have actually just been a seventeen because you said it'd be difficulty because there's someone trying working against me. No, no, it was a roll off. They were they were okay. rolling and you were rolling. You just had to beat it. They okay. rolled a twenty. Unfortunately, that just roll a twenty works against us. Not as often as as I'd like. I don't know, I do crit in combat fairly often. Yeah. As Vika will know. <clears throat> Alright. You gonna keep trying to get through this door, or y'all gonna divert and try to go around? Are there multiple entrances? Uh, well, you can cut down and go down another hallway to get eventually get to the... We had someone here who was like continually hacking and making it seem like we're just gonna stick here and everyone else left. That would that actually is not that bad of an idea. Essentially diversionary. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, I'll catch up. Alright. Can you get in here? She can hack. Okay. She just doesn't use it a lot. Okay. She does yeah, hack yeah. with her fists, no, but... Kev's asking this in, in character, like, I haven't seen her hack. Really? I, I swear, y'all, I can, I can do more than hit stuff. I believe you. I, I, I believe you are a multifaceted woman, and he, and he leaves. Well, first off, never judge the, anyone until you truly know them. The right. eye roll was legitimately audible. You can hit him later. He'll be good. Yeah, I'll catch up. All right. <clears throat> pat, pat. <laughs> uh, looking at the maps, what would actually be the fastest way to the core? I'm sure we're going that way. Yeah, you were going that way, but okay. but you look, you can cut down. You know, you you look at a couple of side hallways that you can cut down, uh, and kind of you know loop back, basically loop back around the, the hallway y'all already in, just further down, and then you could come back. To the blast door, or continue forward towards the. <clears throat> uh, I'm also gonna try something. That might actually be kind of dumb, just in case if okay. we run into this problem again. Being that it's a blast door, for emergency purposes, there's always an basically a quick release. Mm -hmm. There's a manual override. Invent create, basically. Make a way to make it essentially trick the system to thinking that it actually is an emergency to open up. And then create, generally speaking, tools. Well, the manual override, you'd have to get in there, and it's like a kind of a handle. And it is on, that is on the side of the door, kind of the further end of the ship you get. So they lock it down, people trap inside and get it open to get further out. It's not going to trap from the hallway side. Right, right. right. All right. Uh, all right, so y'all start circling around. Uh, Vika, go ahead and give me a roll. I did. It was a 15. All right, I got a 17, 18, 19. Couldn't get any of these rolls last week. Are you sure about that? Not, with, not when it came to the hacking. Mm. That's fair. Or maybe it was just that, or maybe it was just they didn't, they didn't look good compared to the 30s you were rolling. So true. Uh, there was also that time that uh, we both rolled natural ones, but I just had I had the better modifier. Yeah, man, we that stuck, was but, but you stuck a little less. <laughs> All right, so run down the side hallways, you know, cutting back and forth. Uh, if anybody's got something that would hit with their perception, uh, um, let me don't... just investigate. Would I, would I be able to roll it from my location, or would it apply to me still back at the door? It would not apply to you. This is this is the guys running down the hallway. Okay. Uh, and I say perception. I'm just throwing out D&D &D terms. I, know, I don't yeah, know what yeah, the ta individual yeah. tags here are called. But... 
The yeah. tag is spot. Yeah, there is a tag called specifically right, so called spot. If, if any of you got spot, I mean, you uh, can roll it regardless, but spot would factor into this. Yeah. Yes. This is a straight roll for me. Yeah, if you don't have spot, yeah. it's just the d20 plus your grit. Just 14. for just for if I was there, sake, would read a situation apply to it? Read a situation might be more <clears throat> social. Uh, look uh, for subtext, motives, or threats in a situation or person. Like insight. One of those get a gut feeling about kind of thing. That's true. That could be like an intuition about what they're walking into. That might help you like spot an ambush or a trap or something okay. like that. They, that might factor into that. Okay. I'm just uh, unless, the unless they have a tag listed that is specifically like spot ambush. Yeah. I got a 12. Uh, along right. with their, what everyone else got. All right, Uriah, what did you get? Got an eight. Tiana, what did you get? Sorry, what was I just... If you don't have spot or something else that would help you with perception type things, just a d20 plus your grit. Nope. She's yeah. on the back. She's holding on at the moment. So the people leading don't see it. Great. Uh, Freddie, what did you get? Uh, 14. Okay. Uh, so y'all are running along, and uh, Cortev and Freddy kind of at the same time. Maybe Freddy was maybe Freddy was a smidge quicker, but uh, sure. you both spot, uh, you know, in an open doorway, something, you know, just you know, some the size of that. Well, I'm about to go yay big, but Jeremy can't see me. Uh, you. You can't, can't see can't. me. Oh, that's right. Because you are on Zoom. Okay, very good then. So something about the size of a soda can with a little light on the side sitting just in just in one of the doorways. And I like basically bomb. beat through Uriah Tripwire up front. I'll actually point it out. Yeah. I'm basically making the people who are running ahead of us mm -hmm. Yeah, his uh, um, the forward EVA thrusters on his suit activate and push him backwards. <laughs> sure enough, it's a little canister. Uh, mm. You know, a little explosive. You, you not an exact model you've seen before, uh, mm. but yeah, it's basically got a uh, maybe not a laser trip wire, like a motion detector. If somebody runs past that doorway. Uh, sets it off. Yeah, it's gonna set it off. Mm. <clears throat> Is it like the only way forward? <clears throat> uh, you could drop forward? back. Okay. And go around some more, but you know, the more the more times you have to do that, the longer it's gonna take. Um. So what Uriah will do, because Beck, um. He'll grab Cortev and Freddy and just... Actually, first he'll go, Hey, sis, how's it coming on that door? <laughs> Fine. I also just have an idea. Uh, they beat an 11. I figured uh, that. Okay, so... Yep. Yes, yep. He'll grab Cortev and Freddy and quick scan with his... This laser's more like <laughs> leg level. It kind of fans out across the hallway. Uh, <clears throat> at the highest, at the highest point, it'd be like chest level on a, on a person. Okay. He will throw Cortev and Freddy over the lasers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you warn them ahead of time? No, just. <laughs> <laughs> um. As Freddy's, then, there's no time. <laughs> As Freddy's flying through the air, he just kind of goes, we're going to discuss this later. <clears throat> and then because <laughs> then because EVA module, he will just, since uh, Ty is still magnetically attached to him, he'll just kind of Naruto run over the wall. Okay. Or, over that doorway to get around the laser. All right. Freddy and Cortev, give me a roll to see if you, you know, if you tuck and roll with, you know, 
race in your landing. <clears throat> nope. Uh, I have show off. Can I can I do show off at this moment? Show off bits, sure. <laughs> I'm just picturing him going I'm just picturing Cortev going full swan dive pose for doing a perfect little little acrobat roll as he gets oh, to feet. I, got, I rolled a twenty seven. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Twelve point land. You hit, you roll, <laughs> you come up on your feet, hands in the air. And he, he like brings his hands up dramatically. And, and then now. Freddy yes. just like stumble rolls and he knocks over him as they go by. I yep. just imagine that he hits the ground and just slides. Just face the... plants and then flies five feet. That that's so funny, the twenty the twenty to one. I really think Cortez just looks perfect. down at Freddy. I just yep, want the drone holding up the ten. About this later. Got no well, time, face... keep moving. Uh, Uriah, Uriah, give me a roll, slow. give me a roll, uh, you know, to see if you manage to get up, you know, and scrunched up enough for it not to detect you. Because the hallways are like, not, you know, eight feet or so. Oh, yeah, like, you're good. You, you hear a slight snicker as she watches <laughs> Freddy face uh, There will be consequences if you fail, but I've got a couple of different ones you can choose between. That's fine. You have 12. your choice of consequences. Got 12. Okay. <clears throat> so you managed to get across without either setting off the bomb or squishing Tiana up against the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> Squish. <laughs> I didn't need that face, thank you. The ceiling. Uh, you got your helmet on, right? You're fine. <laughs> I know I'm not pretty, but now I'm not even pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so y'all get past the booby trap and continue on. Uh, and you you make it to the point where you can uh, get back into that main hallway. Uh, was that v was that roll Vika making another attempt? Yeah, she's just trying. No one's called and said, hey, we were able to find another way in. They rolled a natural 20 plus. Yeah, that beat me. You got like a 13. So they got a, let's see, 27 total. These rolls. Uh, Using all your good oh, rolls now. All out of the way. Yeah, just. Yeah, mm -hmm. apparently. Uh, so with that crit, they locked you out. Of, they have locked the, the, the little door when you're using it. They've locked you out of it. Ah, uh, yes, they fall out. The screen goes blank for a second, and then there's just a laughing little face. <laughs> it takes you a second. You you think maybe it's a cartoon turtle cow? Just laughing and pointing. She, like, rears back like she wants to punch it, and you can kind of see the fist things charging, and then she just <clears throat> takes off down the hallway. Quiet fist of death. Your time will come. Get your eyes on the message. There's a bomb that we ran over. Be careful of that. Does she get that in time? Uh, Far out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 the time it would take you to catch it where they were. They, yeah. And also, while we're running, I basically, of the map we have, I ping the actual door it's in. Sounds good. She's like, she's like gotta do everything my damn self. Uh, she has uh, blow something up. Would knowing how to use explosives to wreck thing also kind of tie into disarming explosives from doing things? I would say so. I would say so. Like okay. bomb squatting it. Yeah, yeah, like cutting the right wire. Because she's in, she isn't doesn't have mag clamps and she's not going to be able to jump around um, chest high. She might be able to. She she's built for running through things, not. Gymnastics. All right, let's see how my rolls are going. All right, so you try to like get up against the wall and creep up to the door and just kind of reach around without breaking the the sensor thing. Yep, sixteen. Okay. You manage to reach back and you kind of you here. you fill in the back of it. And you find a couple of of switches. And then you see the light go off as you power it down. 
Would she know if it's safe to move it to use it as an explosive elsewhere? Uh, I like where your head's at. <laughs> it should be. Like I said, it's not. It's not a. And it, it's not a precisely the model of a model, a model that you are familiar with. But it seems to be pretty, pretty basic. Okay, she will carefully put it in like a pouch pocket belt thing mm -hmm. and catch up. Uh, ah, yes, we now have an explosive for a later time. Yeah. It's a secret that'll help us later. Mm. We get to the last session and then she realizes she's forgotten to use it. Well, I've got that and I've got thermite charges, so we're good. Because of course. Um, and why not? <clears throat> Still quite behind the um, large samurai mech. All right, so as you get back to the main hallway, uh, everybody except Vika, because she's not quite caught up yet. Uh, give me another. Yeah. Give me another roll spot. Okay. Okay. So reduce that. Uh, Seventeen. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Boy, too. I rolled the exact same. I think I'm going to reload, reload, roll twenty. Oh, I rolled a twenty-four. Oh it's like saging your dice. Yeah. Saging the dice. All right, so I haven't uh, hit anything yet, so it's not really on my side right now. All right, so Tiana, you don't notice. Nope. Uh, Freddie and Uriah, on the other hand. Mm -hmm. 24. Any cartel roll? Ro oh, 20. So everybody except Tiana, apparently. <laughs> Tiana's at the back of, of, of Uriah. It makes sense. She's going to pick it up. She's doing something new, so she doesn't know how to feel about it at the moment. <laughs> but anyway, y'all step back into the main hallway. Y'all look down kind of, the, you know, from the way y'all had been coming, you know, if y'all hadn't gotten stopped by that last door. The, the, and, the gremlin in me wanted to make a very bad joke. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> She's doing something new. What? Riding Uriah? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Good night, folks. <laughs> I'm out. Bye. <laughs> uh, and way down the corridor, you see two guys in engineer in, in engineers' outfits. They they're running. They're running. They clearly haven't noticed you. They stop. They start fiddling, and another blast door comes down. I mean, that's, you know, way down the hallway. Like I okay. said, far enough away they have not noticed you yet. Can I get there quick enough to, like... Is it is it one or two? There are two of them. Okay. And they've got their little, you know, their equipment out. Yep, yep. I would like to, as I see, as I see them, try to get somewhere quick to, like... They're non-combatants, so I'm not going to, like, kill them. But I'm going to, like, you know, KO them. Well... Hmm. See, Uriah's mindset as well to this is the captain said he ordered all non-combatants out of the back to their quarters or to the medical. Which means these guys are fair game <laughs> in his mind. Bastard than you. Bonking the murder <laughs> No, bad. Bad Uriah. <laughs> But instead, crime... instead of instead of the horny, horny stick to hit him with, y'all have like the war crime stick. Pack, pack, pack. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go to war crime jail. Which is also just called jail. Yeah, Cortez's plan is to like just run up on them and just like get there like quick enough to be like boo, so that you, so they hopefully they run away. Uh, failing that, I just clothesline them or something. Okay. So you go sprinting down the hallway. What are the rest of you doing while Cortev sprints down the hallway towards these engineers? Um, Uriah. You can tell Ty to, like, hop off if you need to do something. Players thinking of whether or not he wants to yuck my yum. Vika's just running to catch up 
with a mm. bomb in her pocket. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of explosives. Yes, you do. Okay, this is this is moments. You know, you have seconds to decide, right. Uriah. Yeah. Right. Get uh, on with it. Um. <clears throat> yeah, he's gonna reach back, grab, um, Tiana, lift her off, and then his thrusters are gonna ignite, and he's shooting down the hall. <laughs> Wait, do you drop her or? No, he is holding you, so you're not getting oh. burned by his thrusters. Okay. <laughs> I was like, cool. Ty's like, oh crap. <laughs> All right, so he's like, headed down the hallway to towards own. engineering or towards the two dudes. Towards engineering. Okay, so you're you're carrying on the way y'all were supposed to be going, Freddie. Where, which way are you going? All right, I am. Uh... Oh no. I try to remember. I keep wanting to say rabbit. That's the one that Uriah is carrying right now. Right, right. right. That's, yeah. that, rabbit is Tiana. Yeah. All right. You you keep wanting to say Uriah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, me and I'm actually going to try to actually subdue the two engineers. Too. Okay, so you're running down with Corteo. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes sense. You're like, okay, there's two of them. I'll, you know, I'll back him up. Makes perfect sense. Uh, so you guys running up to the engineers. Gotta get somewhere quick. That's a roll I can make. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, both of you give me a roll. If you've got get somewhere quick, you can use it. Yep. Unfortunately, don't. Talk. I have stay yes. cool. I don't know if that plays and do it. No, so, no, this just be a roll with I will team. say that the one thing that Ty does do is that if he takes her off his back, she's mag clamping it onto his hand until he tells her otherwise. <laughs> Cause like if he's boosting forward, she's not going to let go. <laughs> oh yeah. The, the second you basically got clear of his back, she would have seen the EVA the EVA ports on his back light up and he's and, and you would have hear a massive thick <laughs> 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 All right, so Freddy and Cortez, give me the uh, get somewhere quick roll the movement. I roll for that. I roll the seven. Fifteen plus nine. All right. Y'all talk at the same time. So, Freddy, what did you get? Seven. Seven. Oh, I see it in the roller now. Cortez, what did you get? Twenty-four. All right. And now I'm going to roll just to see if the guys notice you. I'm going to give them advantage because Uriah fired off jets down that way. Sure. And they got a three. You're muted. Bro. On the Me. twenty and a two on the six. Uh huh. Like, Uriah's gonna do what Uriah's gonna. Do. He sees people trying to block his way, and he wants to get to engineering. He's getting there as fast as he can now. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, so they got a total of a seven. Excuse me, they got a total of a six. So, uh. So both of you get up on them without them uh, realizing you're there. It's not. It's not. It's not elegant. It's just boom, just one, and hopefully that's enough to spook the other guy. All right. Roll, roll me to hurt somebody. Yeah. You know, if you've got, if you've got, you know, fist to face or some something else. And if I and if I'm running up. I believe it's basically pull the shotgun on him and said, hands in the air. Okay. All right, Cortev, give me your roll. Oh, that's this one. Give me a roll off for that. I'm just gonna... My attack isn't as good. It's an eight. All right, well, you needed a 10, so. Sure. Uh, you know, he sees moving out the corner of his eyes as you're taking the swing, so he manages to kind of get out of the way. Uh,. And Freddy, uh, roll me to try to intimidate. Twenty-four. First <laughs> rings, gang. So the one guy just turns around, sees Freddy, hands up, drops his little hat or drops not his hacking tool, but drops his little tools, Did hands in the air. The other guy dodges out of Cortez's way. Uh, you know, kind of. Kind of half falls back against the wall. He puts his hands up. We're not armed. We're not armed. 
We're not gonna kill you. Just go back to your go back to your go All back right, to your I, uh, dwelling. I th I print some more restraints. Lock them there. Yep. So do you just like zip tie their hands behind their back? All right, go sit in your rooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Think about what you did. Um, I will pick up the the uh, the yeah. interface yeah. that they're using. Okay. And. Do they have any kind of ID on them, too? Um, their their shirts have like their first initial and last name. Uh, and yeah, they probably got some sort of military ID. You know, they've got you know their wallets or whatever. Essentially, anything just in case they had like a personal friend or foe on them. Uh, not really. I mean, it's just it's their name, just their you know they are you know okay. they're engineers. It's also not it's not something they swipe to get somewhere, is it? That's kind of what I was going hmm. for. Yeah, that that is. It would definitely be something that they could open their personal rooms with. Uh huh. And probably engineering too. More than likely, yeah. It's like it's like what exactly it would open would probably base, be based on their clearance, and these guys are not high ranking. Uh, they need to get they yeah. need to get where they, they need to get to their workstation. Yeah. In their, in yeah. Their if the head of engineering has locked the engineering down, this probably wouldn't get you in because it, it wouldn't be able to override him. Sure. But under run of the milk circumstances, yeah, it probably would open engineering supply closets and stuff like that. Works. I'll. I'll I'll leave Freddy to do all the all the uh, domineering over there, and I'll just I'll mess with the I'll mess with the interface that I had that I got from the, one of the engineers and see if it it will let me effectively do the same thing. Okay. So while that's going on, Vika, you get back, you get to the you get to the hallway. You can kind of hear what a sound you are familiar with. You hear Uriah jetting down one way. Considering we're in an enclosed area, yeah, those jets are loud. Uh, go ahead and give me one of those awareness type rolls, Spot. A situation. I was just double checking my uh, okay. thing for it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 13. So, alright, you know your brother went that way. But you do, you do go ahead and give the other hallway a good look, or other direction down the hallway a good that look. That's what she hears. I'm not armed. Uh, she, you guys good? Uh, and you see, you see Freddy sitting there with a the shotgun, and you see, uh, well, at this point, you probably see Freddy zip locking the guys while Cortez is messing with some of their equipment. Zip lock. <laughs> Fine. Put in a little bag. Toss him in the freezer. Uh, and you can see where you can see where those guys had clearly dropped another blast door. So that's probably the guys you were in the hack off people. with. No. She's like, I don't get to... <laughs> you guys go down there. There's a thumbs up emoji that pops up on your head. Fantastic. <clears throat> Takes off at a vision. jog. It blocks her vision for a second. Like, does this to get it out of her vision and uh, jogs after uh, Uriah to, and Tiana. You'll have to forgive me, but for some reason, you said I'd start jogging after Uriah and v and Ty, and my head went to the Mr. Filch run from Harry Potter. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. That's where my head went. We've known him for how long now? I hate you so much. I say this with nothing but love in my heart, but I hate you so much. It's okay, I'm getting a side eye glare from your husband, anyways. <laughs> That's expected. Mm. Mm. Is this does this does this uh, device that I have work on its own, or do does it need one of their IDs? You would need one of their IDs to log into it. I'll be hey you, um, ID please. His hands are behind his back. He just sort of turns around and shows you how his hands are behind his back. I understand. Just put 
align yourself in a position where I can get it off your person. Don't don't make this weird. Just tell the man where it's located at, uh, please. Lift, make lift, it weird. Lift pants pocket. Thank you. Neil, grab it. Hey, hey, hey! That's not the ID. And then you find. Uh, it. Is that an I'm ID in your pocket? Or are you it. just happy to see me? <laughs> I'm gonna take your credits if you don't shut up. Somewhere over the uh, HUD, careless whispers playing on a kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sleight of hand the, my phone number. Hey, man. When this war is over. Hey. Uh, 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 war can't last forever, just saying. Uh, anyway, yeah. I Enemies to lovers swipe. trope. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gotta, get, gotta get one of them in there. Uh, and I'll swipe the I'll swipe the ID and get to, get to work on unlocking doors. Okay. Uh... Yeah, so, you know, uh, during the initial thing, your eye had basically stopped him from completely locking the ship down uh, from, you know, remotely. So, clearly these guys were running around and basically just doing it themselves at each individual door. Mm-hmm. Uh, Impressive. Yeah, one of the guys just shaking his head. I knew we should, uh, knew we should have just gone to our quarters like the captain said. But no, You're we still can alive. help. Count your blessings. You, they, they, I think Freddy and Cortez both pushed them into their quarters. It's like, be glad you didn't get the war crimey one. You could have been paced here a second ago. All right, so they head off to their quarters. Yep. Thank you for your service. And he walks off. <laughs> Are you really supposed to tell the opposing soldiers that? <laughs> We, we also told the captain where we're going, so... Actually, I never said we were going to the core. I just said we were getting ready to engage combat. By the way, we're going to start fighting <laughs> you soon. Have a good day. Look at the time. <laughs> Got to get back to the killing. I will say, that does make sense in this setting in particular, just because of how tacit everything's been with the with like the war games aspect. I don't like it, but it makes sense. Because this whole... Particularly the now, if it was the cult, I'd be a l- little more concerned. But these apparently do actually do follow rules of engagement. Right. There have been relatively few atrocities in this war so far. They prefer not to talk about the previous war. Not for lack of trying. We're not talking about your <laughs> atrocities. I'm talking about the two native commanders. <laughs> Union rolls in here like like the Federation. Your eyes like, nah, I'm gonna do clean on Romulan stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Cardassian in this bitch. <laughs> Your eye rolls in here is like, I feel like being a Klingon today. <laughs> well, Klingons still had like rules of warfare. It's more Cardassians. Fair, fair. Yeah, I'm, fair gonna, I'm gonna kidnap you, you're, put you in this chair, ho- ask you how many lights there are. You beat me to it. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> nice. That's 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 fair. Um, but I, I'll let the rest of the group know. Hey, I got I got the. We, Freddie and I took care of the engineers. Well, uh, the door should be opening. Any any swipes? Yeah, the door in front of you opens up. Yep. In front of you, Cortez. You, you, you. Like I said, they're having to go to the individual doors to do this. So. Oh, I see. Mm. I understand. <clears throat> Okay. All right, Uriah and uh, Tiana. Hi. You get uh, to engineering. Of course, their blast doors are down. Of course. Give me like ten minutes. I'll be right there. Are you going to wait for everybody else to catch up? Or are you going to begin doing something now? He's basically going to hack it. They won't, they won't like have have anyone there to be. He's basically just going to slide to a stop and then try to open the door himself. I should Uh, just hold it like hanging like a cat. (laughs) I'm here. Mm -hmm. (laughs) 
<laughs> Vika's just running like, I'm almost there! 24. Alright. There, of course, they got somebody in there to oppose you. Mm -hmm. 19 plus 6, because they have advantage because of their system. Uh, so that is a 25. This guy's only one buddy. grit. So 26. Okay, he does beat me. Not by much. Mm -hmm. When you said you were opening the door, I thought you were like brute forcing it. Oh, no, that's going to happen if they try to lock him out. Uh, they did get a crit, but technically your role would have been a crit too. So I'm just gonna count it like a regular success. So they don't lock you out. They just, but they they prevent you from from undoing the uh, the lockdown. Vika running up. They locked me out after three tries. Just a heads up. Because um of Uriah's uh, subjectivity sync, there's gonna be a message that pops up on their end of the screen. Okay. That says. Either you open this door, or I'm going through. Give me a roll, see how intimidating you are. Followed <laughs> by the Kool Aid Man GIF. <laughs> Versus their head engineer. 16 is the number eight. Well. 10. They lock it. Alright. More than likely, you have frightened some of the regular engineers, but they've got the head engineer in there. Mm. Whipping them into shape. All right. I will try to hack the door open again. Is Vika close enough to assist? Uh, let's see. Could we get there before we did? <laughs> yeah, you basically you basically arrived right at the tail end of his last attempt, so you can give him uh, a hand action. on the shoulder, wheezing. <laughs> oh, hey, sis. I got a bomb. Oh, fantastic. Okay, you hear over. <laughs> probably actually See anything. <clears throat> yeah, probably not actually on your eye's shoulders. Probably sit like on Tiana's like back. Like, oh, I forgot you you were up there. Blame your eyes for this. <laughs> Bay. I got a seventeen. Rolled a four on the D twenty. Twenty three. We're we're not rolling for crap. Dirty twenty. Big part. Did you say dirty 20? No, it's a 23. Oh, uh, so that is a crit. Uh, yep, and yours was not. So. Yep. <clears throat> they, they managed to lock out, lock you out of the system. Basically, they managed to shut down the, the little console you're using. All right. <laughs> Put me down Later. first, please. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, pulls out from a different pocket, holds up thermite charge. Hmm? You, you see, like, the embers of the energy blade about to ignite, and then... That might work better, too. I'll just... And, well, and then it goes quiet, and he just backs up and just... <laughs> <laughs> Did you put Ty down, or is she still <clears throat> singing to your hand? Oh, no. He, it, it, unless Ty has disengaged those mag locks, she's still there. <laughs> okay, she's... She, 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 now that she's safe, she will disengage the mag clamps and fall to the ground. Okay. <laughs> now, keep in mind, you know, Uriah is probably only... Nine feet tall or so. Yeah, so only nine, feet. Only nine yeah, feet tall. Yeah, yeah, only but if you're clinging nice. to his hand it's and he's been moving around and hacking on the console or human sized console. Four feet. It's fine. Yeah. Well, the plus side for the subject sink is all he has to do is basically just <clears throat> have a little like port open up and he can just mentally plug directly in. He doesn't have to actually like hack. Mm. All right, so what? Who, uh, who's making the attempt on the door, Vika? I think Uriah had a sword charging up. He, he did, but he saw you pull out the thermite charge, and he's like, "No, go ahead, by all means, <laughs> blow something." All right. Up. <laughs> all right. Roll me a blow Using something. Using what she up. knows about it. You need a Would twenty because these thermite... are blast doors. They are designed to take damage, so you need a twenty. Okay. Would uh... one thermite charge work on it, or? Um, would adding the other one assist in making this a very sure the door is going to open kind of thing? Hmm. A two? <laughs> I'll give you an extra accuracy. My... Or give you an accuracy, I guess I should say. Yep. I'm just double checking. Uh, just for 
information thermite charge um it does a three energy ap and thermal damage automatically hits objects dealing 10 energy ap okay well we're we're in cinematic mode yeah. so well it's part of the pilot gear loadout it, That's it, probably it, it for does... when your pilot is running around in mech combat. You know, no. like next session when your no. mech gets shot. It's in gear loadout for oh, 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 okay, okay. narrative profile. Oh, that's it, right. Because you, you, do, you, you do still can do damage to people like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it auto, it, it, she doesn't have to roll anything. It just automatically does 10 energy AP damage to a wall. Yeah. Because I can still roll something. Yeah. All right. Let me look at see if the what's the other uh, one. It it specifically says automatically <clears throat> hits objects, and I would assume a wall HP is an object. HP for blast door. You'd be like, hey, Just you might want to step back. Oh know. yeah, she she would make sure everyone is a safe distance. Oh, I meant the other guys. They're still non-combatants. Oh no, your eye is not warning them. <laughs> oh, All right, no. I'm just gonna hear. A He's big being petty. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> yep, this. I'm gone for just a minute, and you're already back to war crimes. <laughs> All right, how much help? The reasonable I... ones had to go take care of the engineers. Hey, reasonable is I'm using at least only a, a charge versus a um, plasma sword. Yeah, now I just got to figure out how much. Uh... How many hit points the door has? Yeah. There's got to be something for damaging uh, objects. Pendium objects. Nothing. Return. And apparently the child decided she was going to play more. Oh, fine. <laughs> so I have a s'more now. Lucky. S'mores are nice. All right, screw it. I'm just writing down some hit points. And an armor rating. All right, so how much does your thermite do? Uh, thermal charge uh, automatically hits objects. Ten energy damage, armor piercing. Okay. And you were using two of them. Well, using what she knows, would she know if one would take out a blast door enough to get it open, or would adding the second one that she picked up on the way work? Uh. That's going to vary from ship to ship. One might do it. Two should definitely do it. Doing two. All right. Staying clear. You're very quick with the memes, Car. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming everybody other than Vika backs way up. Uh, Ty's Ty's nowhere near that door. <laughs> your eyes in a mech. He's basically JoJo dancing up to this thing, going, "Let's go." <laughs> he gets far enough back to where she knows she won't probably won't get hit, but she wants to feel the shock wave. Kev, I, I, I haven't got to punch anybody. Cortev walks the cor runs the corner, sees that a thermite charge is being planted, and just like does a lap. No, no, you and Freddy just round the corner. You see everybody standing just a few feet in front of you. And then, and then Vika detonates it. Oh, even better. There's a deafening explosion. Uh-huh. Probably literally deafening if you, weren't in, if you weren't actually in your, like, you know, combat gear with your helmets and stuff. I feel bad for anyone who was standing on the other side of the door at that time. Uh. She did yell clear. I don't know if they heard her. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm picturing the one soldier whose ear against the door. She just said something about beer and then it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> clear? Why they say clear for? <sighs> like, what is like that? Charging movie? somebody's heart? What is that movie where you see a guy with his head up against a rail line? It's like I can hear the train coming, and then the train comes from the other direction. He's looking and just flattens his head. Ah. <clears throat> uh. Well, thing to they, say. They thought Bika went, hold my beer. <laughs> mm. Yes, but also no. <laughs> so, shockwave runs, you know, the blast wave kind of runs through you. It's, it's, for Vika, who's into it, you know, it's probably fun. The rest of you, maybe, well, maybe not, you're right. For most of the rest of you, it's, it's a little alarming. Even though when it, even the ones you knew it was coming, it's a little alarming. Uh, we are... We are getting really are the TF2 group. Vika's the demo man. Ty's the medic. <laughs> oh no, wait. No, Ty's the sniper. <clears throat> what? That's so weird now. <laughs> Ty's the harmacist. The harmacist. Yeah. Uh she's the she's Smoke the and dust clears. Man. Uh the blast door is like folded. Uh, like somebody come up and punched it real good, and also laying on the ground inside engineering now. Uh, the other walls and ceiling and stuff in the hallway are badly damaged. You can definitely in enter engineering, and no, across the hallway from engineering, you could probably crawl through that hole in the wall to whatever room is on the other side of that wall. It smashes the. Uh, giant brass knuckles together and walks in. If we look at the map, what is the room that opened up? Let's see. Basically like their supply closet makes it sound small. Uh, one, of their, one of their larger storerooms. Uh, even with the 3D printers that they've on board, you do keep certain spare parts you keep. Because if you suddenly need them, you suddenly need them quickly. Yeah. Seems Ty right. is invisible. Ty is going to go poke around. You're that guy that when you're playing Borderlands, while you and the other three, other two are busy uh, shooting everything up, you're sneak zero. that one person is sneaking around looting everything. Zero? Just, just this. Well, I just meant player style, not the Oh, player, player. <clears throat> gotcha. Would you like me to roll a perception? Oh, uh, yes, please do so. Okay. I don't have anything, so I'll just add my grit. Nope. Ty doesn't see shit. She's, her ears are ringing. There's a lot of dust in there. <laughs> you know, you peek in, but there's a lot of dust. Yeah. And, you know, some of the shelving on that on the wall against where the blast hit it all knocked down. You know. Yeah. So she's going to make her way back to engineering then. All right. Vika, you walk into engineering. Several engineers are sprawled out. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the ones closer to the door were knocked down. Uh, doesn't, look, doesn't look like anybody is was completely squished by the door. Or if they are, they're completely concealed by the door laying down now. So Should have gone to your bunks. Uh, yeah, I'd say at that point, Uriah walks in with us like, I warned you. <laughs> uh... The head engineer is like braced up against his, against his console or whatever. Uh, when he sees you w walk in, Vika, he goes for his pistol. She he, he's the gonna, only person you see in the room that's armed. She's going to try and run and tackle him. Okay. Give would me a roll. Get, would get somewhere quick applying this? Uh, yes, you're trying to cover the, the biggest part here, trying to cover the distance. Yep. He got a total of a 17. Finally. Okay. 22. So, his reflexes are pretty good. Uh, you know, he's not a slouch, but he's also an engineer. Probably doesn't get down to the gun range much. And you, ju you just hit him like a linebacker. Just, whoo! And you, it, you can feel it when you hit. You know it's a good, solid hit. You hear all the air wolf out. He drops the gun. <gasps> 
Well, and then you just carry just him to the ground. Him. Probably just sit on him like, stay down. Oh, I think you've knocked the fight out of him. I'll walk up to him and be like, hey, where's your ID? Gotta check something. His response is... <gasps> Point, stop being dramatic. <laughs> no, he's... He could... Wait, wait. He's trying to cosplay as that... What's that race on that sand planet? Jawa? The... No, no, no. Uh, the ones no, that no. go like... The Tuscan, Tuscan Raiders. Raiders. That's it. That's more of a... Can... He's trying to cosplay as them. He's and just the... going to pat him down for the ID. That was in... Exactly, but they were. Okay. I was like, Star Wars doesn't does it exist here. How do you know? If it did, it was a long time because ago. Because society, because society collapsed, spent thousands of years building itself back up. That's Probably not a lot of CD, lot not a lot of DVDs made it. It's passed down through a well, yeah, storage tradition. That was the only good part Lucas of Rainbow Chagrin. The only thing that survived of Star Wars, the Hollywood, the Christmas special. special. Yep. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll take it, and I'll, I still have the device. I can open the doors. I think I think Cortez's ears are still ringing. I'm like, I can open the doors, guys. What? I Vika. said it just goes on like that. Vika, like, am I the only one that wears wears earplugs or like deadens my helmet when I'm doing stuff? Yeah, the the, the <laughs> no, helmet should protect you quite a bit. Ty can just talk to you in the head because of the data plating, so she doesn't really have to say anything. We're just all being jerks to each other now. <laughs> no one's ears are actually ringing. Your ears doing that to be jerks to the engineers in the room who, who are barely able to hear now. Uh, and all the rest of the engineers are just kind of, you know, sitting at their posts now. It's kind of like... You know, one of them, when Vika tackled the, the head engineer, kind of half stood up. And then he looked at Uriah, who walks in in a full mech, and just kind of like, mm. he just the, the head Step like away. tilts, looks at him. Step he away sits back down. Rolls. He rolls, Everyone's but he rolls his chair back. Everybody, step yeah. away from your consoles. Everybody rolls their chairs back. This is a Star Trek; they don't have to stand at their workstations. Guys, you guys just go go to your go to your rooms. Put down, put down the devices. Put down these devices and then go to your rooms. What? <sighs> this... Pulls out a data pad, put, types up on it. Go to your quarters. What? They all look at the head engineer. <gasps> Give us your IDs and go to your rooms. All of them walk by and put their IDs in the corner. You know, one of the consoles, put it in the corners. They walk by. It's like a fucked up mixer. They just like what the fuck. Now we're gonna put all these in a fishbowl, and then we're gonna draw them out. Uh... Right, the one who I draw next is the DD. Somebody hack this thing so we can download the data, please. Oh no, yeah, that's where Uriah's going. <laughs> I'll give him a hand. All right. Yeah, I'll I'll assist. All right. So you three grab the engineers. Uh card move over to the you know and to the actual computer guys, section which which was also locked down but you know you you zip his thing and it overrides lockdown i going to watch and make sure they go to their room or a like are you following them invisibly yeah like uh, she's going to she's going to like follow them around a corner and then just watch them as they walk down that hallway but she's not going to go too far from her team okay because at least going to stand up the engineer guy and put him in a chair uh, so they they do appear to be walking towards the crew quarters section of the ship uh you know from what you can tell not not getting too far from engineering mm -hmm. you do see one of them stop at a um uh, it's a console but it's not like a big computer console it's just you know the black ship intercom kind of stuff mm. she'll walk up next to him just very uh, quietly he just hits a button captain they take an engineering Uh, the captain asks about casualties, and then he, you know, <clears throat> uh, he basically tells him nobody engineering, no one in engineering has been killed. They still have the engineer, or the, the head engineer, head chief engineer. engineer, excuse me. 
And then, you know, he gives that little, one of them gives that little report and they, they go on about their business. Okay. And then she goes back to engineering. <sighs> All right. You guys that walked into the computers. Yep. Into the computer room. Essentially, we're giving Uriah basically the, the I will set advantage, accuracy. Okay. Just have it. 20. Because I rolled a 6. <laughs> Alright, so that is a crit. And the poor guy... Since none of the engineers are working against you now, it's back to the guy on the bridge working against you. We do have the engineer's key card. I don't know if that counts for anything. Uh, well, there's more than just that. That gives you access to the room without any trouble. Hmm. Uh, there's still actual kind of login stuff you have to do. You have to bypass some biometrics. Uh, Put his finger on there. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter because he rolled single digits anyway. Clearly, we're back. You clearly, you're back to opposing the character from last week. Or the, <laughs> NP, the NPC from last week. Uh, Fair enough. So you get into the system. Uh, yeah, and you're in the main computer system now. So start uh, downloading data. But uh, so yeah, you just are copying stuff. Are you, are you are you looking at any of it, taking time to look at any of it now? Or are you just copying it as fast as you can? No. He, he figures that he'll have time to look at it like on the trip back. Okay. He's just getting as much as he can now and not wasting time. <clears throat> All right. Give me... Hmm, we'll go ahead and call this spot, I guess. Okay. Is this anyone looking at this, or just... Uh, well, yeah, I guess all of y'all are in the... Pro you, all of y'all are sitting at different terminals helping each other, so I guess yeah. any, any of you would fight any computers. Ty's watching the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Got an 18. Uh, 17 plus 5. Okay. And what did Uriah four. get? <laughs> Got 4. Uriah is very occupied with the data. Yeah. Uh, He's already... Working out his long, very long field report. You're actually Why typing it while you're hacking. So the other two of you uh, recognize that someone else has got is is you know uh, has also accessed the system. Uh, specifically, it looks like it's the captain, or from the captain's console. And he's he's not trying to stop Uriah from accessing the data. Uh, he's not even, he's not even really trying to kick you out of the system. Uh, the two of you realize he's basically trying to make the computer overload and short itself out. Like, not through a specific, this is a pre up command thing. It's like he's trying to trick no, the system into, into bricking itself. Uh, so the two of you yes. can oppose this because you're aware it's going on. And, you know, it's quick, so you don't have time to really tell Uriah what's going on. So, just uh, the two of you. Yep. Which one of us has the better hat? I think, uh, I'm, I think we're both the same. You're a plus four? Yes. All right, so I'll, I'll give you a plus. I'll okay. give you accuracy. So. Right. He rolled a 20, so 20 is the number to beat. All right, here Jason, goes question. nothing. Yes. Um, are the vents big enough for Ty to fit through? Ty is I not a large think, individual. Ty just thinks, wait, this thing has vents. Why haven't I thought of this sooner? But Ty is in, like, stealth armor. Or, you know, essentially a stealth suit. Which is going to be a, not real bulky, but a little bulky. I think it would be, like, light armor, if anything, but... Hmm. Actually, the stealth suit doesn't have any armor at all. It's true. Okay. Well, it'd have to have gear, though, for the stealth stuff. Uh, it's, it's not, it's not just armor. camoed, it's... It's, it's all electronic. So I rolled an eleven plus my seven between hack and fix and my grit plus a six on my d six. 
So it's a total of. Good question. Uh, seven, six, six, that's 13. 24. 24, yep. thank you. All right, you have stopped the cat from shorting the computer in. I'll send him a I'll send him a turtle cow with the with the thumbs up. Uh, and the next and the next thing he see, and then after the turtle cow, the next thing he sees is just a picture of Freddy looking very disappointed. <laughs> uh, Freddy's like the we... Captain America of, of in a group with a bunch of fucking like weirdos. <clears throat> uh, at that point, you're right. You, 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 you realize the two of them are doing something, but uh, you're busy, so. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Uh, meanwhile, Vika, you are sitting on the engineer. No, she put him, picked him up a little bit, put him in a chair. Okay. He's, he's getting his breath back. Uh, I've been taking a hit like that years. It's all about learning how to fall, right? Out of practice. Yeah, get a hot shower, take some Advil. Advil. I'd have done better in college yeah, when I was your age. Pats on the shoulder. There, there. Um, that hurt. Quickest way to copy all that. Or we're probably doing it actually. Anything special in there? I mean, are you asking the engineer? Yeah. I'm not at liberty to discuss. He he looks at you funny like. Uh, I'm not I'm not at liberty to discuss that. I figured just everyone else is trying to be nice and asking questions. I figured I'd see if it worked. <laughs> I, I do appreciate none of you shooting uh uh shooting my uh shooting any of the boys in my apartment. Up. Well, I'm trying to think if he'd have a different word than just crew for, for his particular department. But... <laughs> he hears from the mech, I considered it. <laughs> we're, we're trying to turn over new leaves. Looks over, you're right. Yeah, there's always one. There's always that Fair one guy issues. that gets into a war just for the chance, joins the military just for the chance to kill somebody. There's a slight knuckle crack noise as she just kind of tightens her fist. She's like, "It's my um, my brother. If you wouldn't mind, sir." Oh, no offense. <laughs> that works. You <clears throat> clearly offended her. He's a gall darn psycho. Oh, that's my brother. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No. Mm -mm. I I reminded of that scene from Avengers. Oh, he's adopted. Mm -hmm. Fair probably looks like it. <laughs> well, no, he's in a mech, so he's probably he's taller than her right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so it doesn't take all that long uh, and you get the ding that you've basically you know copied the whole the whole database right there, oh, no. you know some of the stuff might be encrypted uh, you, but you know you have to worry about that when you have time to sit down and, and really go through it all yeah, like I said, he's not worried about it right now. He was just trying to get everything that he could get his hand on. <laughs> All right. We getting out of here? Word. So Ty could not fit through the vents, I assume. Uh, oh, uh... Even or odd? Oh, uh, even. All right. So even she can fit through the vents, suit and all. Okay. Odd she can fit through the vents without the suit. Okay. And a twenty is even, so you can go through the vents with your suit. <clears throat> Ty's gonna go through the vents. She's gonna make her way to the bridge. Okay. And she's gonna she's gonna be a scout in the in the vents. Anyone seen Ty? She comes over the data plate. Shuffling. <laughs> I'm heading towards the bridge in the vents. Why? I, I'm invisible and uh, you're not inaudible. No, I am. Ding, I have ding, a data ding. plate. I don't have to speak. Ah. 
<laughs> like scuttering through the vents like a <clears throat> gigantic. Being so as you approach the bridge, mm -hmm. uh, give me a roll for your stealth. Okay. Let's we'll see what happens. One. Most oh, creatures yeah, run probably. from fire. Of course, since we are the TF2, now you're the spy. Yeah, I roll twenty is being mean to me tonight. It is being <clears throat> absolutely mean. I have rolled two fives, a six, and a seven. Roll All 20, right. Twenty wants to tell a story uh, about uh, you tonight. Roll twenty wants me to die tonight. All right. So you're you're approaching the vent that should be, you know, from your map should be the. Uh, uh, bridge. The bridge. <laughs> sneak, sneak, sneak. Mm -hmm. And then your elbow catches the side of the vent just a little bit more than you intended. Mm. Uh, so you rolled a seven, mm. and I rolled for them to see what they would notice. And they rolled a seven. Are we rolling off? Is that what we're doing? Uh, it will be more or less. You know, what you hear is you hear somebody in the bridge you hear that? Just stop. You know, Still. if you've if you've ever played Elder Scrolls or Fallout, uh huh, it's that it's Last that it's that caution when you're in the you're, you're not you go oh. from hidden to cautious and you hear them talking. Nope. Did you hear something out there? Nope. The metal girl thought, "Huh? What was that noise?" I'm I'm somewhere there's a oh, physical D twenty for this. It's... Oh, just a box. <laughs> yep. Here. In the... You hear just some music in the background. There's someone over the because It must have been the wind. <laughs> Alright, they, got, they only a got a 10. Ship. What did you get? You rolled a 1. I oh, rolled God. another 7. Plus your grit? Mm-hmm. On, like, dice? Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. Car, I think it's you, buddy. Come, You're, we're going to have to sage I, you. I come back from vacation and I... I Ty is Ty is on death row. Um, okay, so struggle buddies. You, I take like two steps. <laughs> in a moment of panic, or maybe not panic, but in a moment of you know you you reacted before you had a chance to you decide oh I need to back up. So you try to back up and try to you you back up you try to back up a little too quickly and you make more noise. Yep. And you hear you you hear somebody from the uh, bridge. They're in the vents, mm -hmm. and then you hear a series of of gunshots as they just start. Somebody oh. just starts firing a couple yep. a couple different guns start firing towards the vent. Just yep. fifth element. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. yeah. I was just thinking god. that. So give me a roll to avoid being shot as you try to crab scuttle your way backwards. Because considering how much TF two has come up, spy check. Burr. <laughs> Just kill Ty. What'd you roll? A five, all right. Just kill, just, just murder Ty. It's so fine. you needed a ten. Yep. I, didn't, I wasn't rolling in this case, but uh, you going with the default number. Do we hear the gunshots or anything from where we are? From where you're at, you would not hear the gunshots. Um, unless Tiana had like her mic on. Oh <clears throat> yeah. She's basically so saying, through your headset, shit, shit, you hear, you hear, shit, 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 shit. You hear clang. You hear just the slightest little clang, and then you hear a louder clank. There are the vents. <laughs> oh. All right then. It's like, Why you I... don't go in the vents by yourself? I've made a very bad decision. But you know, what what have we learned today? Oh, you know the fact that apparently I can't go on vacation because uh, they just your dice get. Dice. Your dice, Your dice get abandonment <laughs> issues. Yeah, apparently. And they're out of practice. Obvious. Splitting the party, obviously. That's that was the correct course of action. Hey, How it was this? one person going through the vents and only to like look and see what they were doing. That's all she was trying to do. Come on, Patrick. In our other games, when <clears throat> is splitting the party ever hurt anybody? <laughs> other than Danny. You know, it, it makes for good storytelling, if anything. It's yeah. good storytelling. You're doing great. How much damage do I take? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Most weapons have like set damages like two or three. Uh, yeah, I believe the I believe these rifles are two. Okay. But since How I've got comp com pulled up, let me check. 
Oh. And she's still moving backwards as they're shooting her. Like, she, she gets hit, she's still moving. Until, like, there's no way they can shoot her in the vents. And then she's probably going to patch herself up. Uh, yeah, medium signature is a range of five and two. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, yeah. So, she takes two damage. Fine. Oh, she doesn't take more than that? There's only one firing at her? There were multiples fire. It was that it was you were rolling to avoid the hell of gunfire. They can't actually really see you. They're just shooting in general direction. It's only the volume right. of bullets that okay. really gave them a good chance of possibly hitting yeah. you with one of them. Got it. All right, so you you know, and they're shooting at an angle, so it's not like they're you know shooting directly back to, toward you know down the vent. So you manage you take a hit and you manage to back up far enough. Yeah. So you start patching yourself. Uh, she's not going to patch herself if she only takes two. I, I was expecting oh, okay, okay. more than that. Uh, then you hear, Give me a boost! Oh, great. And suddenly that vent gets pulled open. Yep, and she's she's got it. She's still got her sniper rifle. Uh, so yeah, vent gets, gets pulled off. You know, guys basically pulls the vent off with one hand. And then he's got his gun, you know, firing directly down, or re getting ready to fire directly down the vent at you. Okay. It's the scene from Alien where they're, like, peeking up through the air vent. That one is. Uh, I'm killing somebody, so I roll a 28. Oh, well. Just now your dice like you. Yeah. Anything else? <clears throat> Tie shit at. Killing someone? Apparently not. That dude does not have a head anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's like, Ugh. and then his head goes. Pfft. What little bit you can see of him, uh, this guy is dressed like a Shinar soldier. Okay. Uh, I relay that to the gang. He sticks his head up into the vent. There he goes. There she. Pfft. Hey, or there they there's. Are. Uh, yes, because she got eyes. hit. Her, she's no longer invisible. <clears throat> uh, he, he's making a beeline for the bridge. <laughs> All right. Probably oh, okay. probably has grabbed Vika on the way. <laughs> He's just going. Is it that important, or do we need to get out of here with this information? Getting out with the information is very important. If you can take a captain prisoner, that's always going to be valuable. Because he, you know, it's if if there are any holes in the information, because uh, you know they were they were in the process of trying to delete stuff when your eyes stopped them. So there yeah. may be a few holes. Yeah. That Having a high ranking someone to question. They were printing bomb casings, so yeah. Ty's still scooting back, and she's basically like, are we getting out, or are we taking someone else? Before they left, she would have zip-tied the head engineer. Could you just stay here for me, please? No, right, you just zip-tie him to, the, to his chair or whatever. To the rolling chair. He's rolling around the room now. <laughs> we're rolling around the room, hitting consoles with his nose. <laughs> <laughs> he's that he's that little uh that little wa water woodpecker. Uh. Yes. Uh. Alright, you're right. You're approaching the the uh <clears throat> bridge door. Uh, because being drug along. Tiana, you hear one of the soldiers well, what you're assuming the soldiers at this point. Uh you hear some people t telling the captain to get to his ready room. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, from the map, okay, it's, think the Star Trek ready rooms. It's a, the captain's office just right off the bridge. Uh, you know, basically they're just telling him, you know, get the bridge is about to be a combat zone. You probably want to go sit somewhere else. And then you hear one of the soldiers go, hey, give me one of those grenades. She's still moving back. <laughs> Uh, so you hear a chink, and then you know you don't see the the guy doesn't get up. He just chucks it as far as he, you know as hard as he can down the. I'm going to try without the stun baton being on, knock it back. Ooh, I like that. There will be consequences if you fail this. <laughs> I know, but there's going to be consequences anyway because I can't move very quickly in a vent with a grenade coming at. 
Wisconsin? Well, you've been scooting back. I'd have given you a chance to get down a side hallway, but I kind of like this better. <laughs> she's <laughs> scooting back, but she's like, if it gets close to her, she's knocking it back. Okay. They rolled good on their, uh, on the D6, but not on the D20. So they've got a total of a 10. So this is actually doable for you. Okay. So my question is, I can't use take someone out for this, correct? I'm I'm technically not targeting a person. I'm targeting an object, but but if you knock it away from you, you do so by knocking it back into the room with them. Yes. So go ahead and count it. Okay. Twenty-seven. <laughs> I want instead of knocking it into the room, I just knock it farther down the vent, <laughs> like down the vent. <laughs> Alright, so you don't want to knock it back into the room with them. No, 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 no. Because they're innocence and also the captain. So I'm going to knock it as far down the vent as I can. Look, I don't know what's up with fucking Ty. Yeah. Anything other than combat. Okay. So you, you've scooted back, scooted back, scooted back. You just passed a little side vent. And you, you know, maybe even thought, oh, I should have gone down there. Then here comes the grenade, and you're like, ah! So it shoots down that side. Mm -hmm. There's an explosion. It's very loud. It rattles everything. There's dust on everything. Uh, but you take no damage. Everyone hears an explosion from the vent. And then you hear Ty. Hey. I'm okay. I was about to no. ask. Uh, I'm going to ask. Hurry up. Out in the, moving, back I'm in the moving. bridge, you, you hear. You think that got him? Should have. Huh? We're not going to check. I, 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 you, you, you want to boost up to see? No. <laughs> I saw what happened in Mars head. I'm not sticking. <laughs> nope. Ty is going to find the nearest exit closest to her allies and get the hell out of the vent. You're right, Envika. You, you, you arrive outside the bridge. Uh, there is a blast door down, of course. I am all out of bombs, so... Uh, that's cool. I'm not. <laughs> so you try to blow your way in, or are you going to try to hack your way in? He's going to try to hack his way in first, because he okay. can do that quietly. Mika will assist. Okay. I'll give him a hand, too. So. You're not there. Yeah, he he grabbed he literally grabbed Vika and then flew. Vika and shot off. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, I mean, you could you could easily be running up behind him, but mm. Uriah yeah. is so damn fast in his mech that you know. Twenty five. All right, that is a crit. You're like, <laughs> the door goes. Pss. You don't figure anybody in the bridge was actively resisting you. They're distracted. The so blast door goes up. Pss. You see three soldiers. Two of them are like holding one guy. You know, one guy is like standing in their feet. And they're like, check. I'm not checking. You saw what happened to Amir's head. <laughs> there's, uh, there's an audible. As the, as the plasma blade ignites. <laughs> uh, so there's those three That's guys over by the vent. There are uh, like other members of the bridge crew at their stations. So a lot of them have gotten like out of their, you know, out of their chairs and like crouched down behind their consoles with the fighting going on. Also, Ty will tell them that the captain was probably in the ready room. And you, you see the doorway that probably leads to the ready room. Yeah. Yeah. At which point, um, you know, I would just go. You can resist to make this easier. Or you can sit down and shut up, and you get to live today. Which is it going to be? The soldier's like, uh. Because the the one the guy being held up has got his gun in one hand, but the other two guys are you know holding him up. Uh, and then you hear one one of the from the uniform one of the higher ranking officers in the bridge crew stand down. We surrender. Good choice. The soldier with the gun looks very relieved. <laughs> that he didn't have to get into a gunfight with him. He, you know, imagine, while, he, just, while he's on a platform of two people holding him. I just imagine out in the hallway, you just hear boom, as the as the vent out there just doo -doo 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 in the hallway. Yeah, yeah. Out. Vika, you're standing <laughs> behind your brother, and suddenly a vent falls and hits the ground. Oh, 
<laughs> she comes out. And she's she's got like a wound like in her gut, but she's she's okay. I just imagine her pouring out of that vent like uh like in the second Ace Ventura movie out of the out of the rhino. <laughs> no, oh, oh. I hate that. Yeah, she lands That's on her feet. <laughs> She's she's more dignified than that. <laughs> well, see, I'm I'm just picturing you're wounded. You're just getting out of the vent as fast as you can. There's just no grace to it. It's just move. You know, you're just getting out as fast as. Right. She, she gets out of the vent and she's standing there and she's like, "Well, I can happily say that I baseballed a grenade." Little pat pat. Also right, pulls out a, a patch look, and first aids her. He looks to remind me. Remind me not to do that again. Which Don't one are you? Do that again. At? Don't. I'm not gonna kill them. Uh, just assume it's the one I shot. His head's over there, and there, and there. <laughs> uh, is... can you have the captain come out, please? <clears throat> or we could go to the captain. The uh the first officer, what's clearly the first officer, stands up, walks over to the red room door, hits a little calm. Captain, our visitors would like to speak with you. Uh, the response is one moment. I gotta gotta eat this cyanide here. Hang on, that hollow teeth tooth just isn't wanting to crack. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's it, it's not a long pause before the door opens. <clears throat> uh, Looking at it, close the play to bring him back with us, or what are we doing with him? Well, we're and Freddie, you're you're catching up at this point, so all right, good. Uh, Jeremy, what has Cortez been doing during all this? The data, and he's like, no, no, you guys do whatever the hell you're doing. All right, so you're just looking at the data. I have the hanging out with the engineer. I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll take a second to like kind of a scout scope through it. Okay, give me a, give give me just give me a spot, but essentially. Yep. Because this is just a quick skim through, just to see if anything catches your eye. Yep. You know, there's some encrypted stuff and all that I'm jazz, but rolling really good today. What the fuck? Wow. Took off stars. That's where all of cars went. <laughs> so this this ship is a uh, you know a pretty standard model. I, I think I mentioned that last last week that it was a uh, it was uh, a barony design, right? Yeah, twenty four for what it's worth. Uh, but uh, there's an underside cargo bay uh, that they can use in space. You know, they can op open up on the bottom and smaller shuttles can fly in and out. It's been modified uh, to be basically a bomb bay. Uh, yeah, they're planning to load this thing down with nukes. Now they're fusion based, not a lot of fallout, but I mean, just explosive. It's just get it, get it, killing as many people as they can without killing, without having to send their their people out. Uh, well, you know, it's it's, it's bombing. It's fuck bombers too. Yep, yep. This is a really big ship used as a bomber, though. Uh, oh. Now, from what you and from what you're glancing, they they have no functioning uh, weapons grade explosives on the ship. Uh, uh, there is there was there was supposed to be a shipment of uh, of uh, the more specialized materials they need. You know, well, coming in a few weeks. Weapons grade plasma. Uh, is there any? Any indication on just a quick glance that I have that there would be some uh, that this is the only one they have, or is this another? Is there another one under construction or anything like that? <sighs> this was going to be uh, pilot test. Uh, part of a battle group. Okay, so this is like the this is like the flagship of a, of a squadron. Well, it was going to be part of one. It doesn't. It doesn't say anything about being the flagship of the main one. Uh, and this and no, this they're... this ship is not the only ship being constructed in this secret shipyard. Got this you. was this was the one on the outer edge. Y'all could sneak up to the best. This that's what I was getting at. Because hmm. if this one has it, there's a good chance that a lot of other ones. Have. Them, 
which means this is an escalation and a half. If yes. he's probably, and we're hurry. sure these guys are Matt, these guys are all Matt Shinar. They haven't said anything crazy to you yet about Just gods or heavenly bulls or any of that jazz. Yeah, scan one. You can scan the system too. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Tiana, you can you can you can kind of check that out. You walk in there and you know you scan a guy, you check the IDs, all that jazz. Go ahead and give me a roll for that. Sure. Let's see. Okay, well it's better than a freaking seven. <clears throat> oh, buddy. Uh, oh yeah, that's just that's a success. I um, need to stick tie to support an assassination. <sighs> I mean, one might say that assassination is acting in support. It's, it's offensive support. It's pre. It's you are preemptively healing your unit by taking people out before they can do them damage. Exactly. It's, it's damage exactly. mitigation. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Preventative, Preventative health care. Preventative uh, health care. Uh, so yeah, all so far, all these ideas are checking out. These guys are. These guys do appear to be uh, Shinar. Uh, Don't quick have that. Yep. The one other thing that I'll give you for your crit there, Cortev. Yep. Uh, like you're you're looking through some like email, you know, emails and stuff back and forth between the captain and you know higher officers, higher ranking officers off. <clears throat> and while they don't get into specifics, they talk about this like this is a reaction to something. Like they're responding. You know, they're trying to crank these these bombers out quick in response to. Some other, some, some, something the league has done. But they do say bombers plural. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's what Kortev was checking. It's like, <sighs> if this is either the pilot test or if there's more that are being mass produced or how that's working. Okay. Uh, I will hold that. My other question. main concern is this is in response. What are they responding to? Sure. Uh, I can get to that when you guys are done doing unspeakable atrocities. That well, we don't, we Ty don't is to... going... After Ty scans one of them and uh, like finishes scanning and they all kind of check out, she's going to come over the data plate and say, we should probably leave, because more than likely they probably said, hey, we're being attacked to the others in the fleet. Uh, no. They should have been gone about 30 minutes ago. Uh, anyway, the cat and the captain for the rest of reading the, in, uh, in there... You know, the captain has stepped out. You know, he look he looks up and down at Uriah. He looks up and down at Vika. <laughs> uh, Freddy, he gives you a nod, you know. Oh, you're the one person in the room I kinda of already kind of already know. <clears throat> okay, so what happened? You boarded my ship, made no, your way no, no, here. No, 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 Why are these being made? Let's carry on this conversation elsewhere. Sir, if you'd come with us, please. Very well. May the rest of my crew stay? Uh, absolutely. All right. As long as they don't try to power up it. We don't have the weapons installed on this ship yet. There's no threat of that. And, uh... As far as engines or anything, we've we've uh, we've got maneuvering thrusters, but not not anything that they could fly away in. Uh, Good enough. And you've been, you know, you, you could you could hop in the system and double check that. Mm -hmm. uh, as an aside to Cortev, could you, or like on the cons, like just steps aside yeah. quite enough, could you Told maybe just? Dis... Oh. And uh, am I actually disable... back? Am I in the? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're all talking over each other. Vika, go. Okay. Could yep. you disable the communications for probably about an hour or so, just to give us enough time to get off? Sure. He'll attempt that. Yeah, yeah. Probably go ahead and give me a roll. Yeah. Yep. Just, just get a 10. No, nobody is actively opposing you at this point. I got a 10. We're okay. Good. <laughs> all right, now, Patrick, what were you saying? Have I arrived to the bridge yet? Yes, you are out. You are at the bridge. When the, you are at the bridge by the time the captain walks out. I walk by, Captain. I'm sorry, I didn't uh, catch your name. Did I write it? A... 
Now Jason's like, I give him a name. E L I F, I believe it was, Elif. 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 Captain Elif. Nice to meet you, sir. And is, had you identified yourself as Freddy, or had you identified yourself by your, by? Because I don't remember Freddy's last name. I uh, gave it. They gave his full name. It was Freddie Fredrickson Whitehorse. Ah, so he addresses Mr. Whitehorse or whatever your rank. What would a Lancer's rank be? Uh, Lancer Whitehorse. Or pilot, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, could be. And while I'm actually talking, I'm also the one that's kind of obviously the sensor console in here. Mm-hmm. I also want to get. This is just the one that's closest on the outside of the ships. How many ships are there in this? Okay, give me a roll right quick. Uh, what am I rolling in this case? Would it be hack, investigate? I'll go ahead and use investigate for this. 24. Yeah, because, the, because, you know, the omen was already log, logged into everything, so. Uh, you do a sensor sweep of the, uh, of the field. Uh, there appears to be five more ships under construction. Uh, and of course there were there were there were ships present acting as security. Uh, most of them are at the far end of the shipyard fighting Union forces. Uh, because Union Union launched a flat out attack, but it was more of just a harrying attack to distract them while y'all swooped in behind. You know, and got the intel. Mostly because they weren't sure how strong a force they had here, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, one thing you do notice, though, is uh, the ship that dropped you off has pulled has pulled back quite a bit. Uh, it seems to be uh, engaged by two smaller crafts, but not, you know, not like fighters, but like just, you know. Mm. Uh, and I actually bring it out. Our ride's under attack. But in more or less... But in more or less what? Instead of just blurting that out. I'm looking at it, more or less type in my, like the wrist calm. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Extract is under attack. Great. I'm going to actually get into uh, grid space. All right. So you start heading back yeah. to. Uh... Yeah. I'm going to the back of the loading bay and getting into grid space. Okay. Yeah. I think that's where we're all going, probably. Yep. Let's go. Um, do we have anyone that has something we can put the captain in? Or do we just want to leave him here and pick him the up with a ship? Plenty of room. Yeah. I want to say you still have the. I do not. No, That's I said to put the EVA in. Giant. Yeah. Well, uh, and that hey, case, the captain's the captain's willing to stay behind if you know. Mm-hmm. We'll get. Unfortunately, Captain, we do not have Captain Aleph, We do not have a spot for you. So I'm afraid you'll have to get into this exo. And basically, a exo suit. No, you're gonna crab him in the space suit. All right. Yeah, it's a ship. There's plenty of they, you found spacesuits, you know, hanging hanging on the wall <clears> in the bay. Y'all came in on. And uh, since I'm a, and since I'm at the console, well, yeah, well, actually, you said this ship doesn't have weapons yet, so no, 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 no. Right. You saw the mounting p- ports for them uh, on yeah. the surface of the ship, but they they didn't actually use them to attack you because I forgot to. But, uh... So, yeah, you tell him that. He takes, you know, he's got his little captain's hat. He takes his hat off, hands it to the first officer, because it's not going to fit in the spacesuit helmet anyway. Uh, and, you know, he's he's putting up no resistance, you know. You've agreed to leave the crew. You know, you're not taking the, trying to take the entire crew, so, hey, I'll just go. Back to the bay. All right, y'all head back to the bay. If they go back through engineering, she'll untie the engineer. Actually, nah, nah. Just poke her head and be like, we're leaving. Bye. 
when you poke your head in, he's like, you know, zip tied to his chair. He has pulled himself over to a console and was, for all the world, looking like he was trying to tie it with his nose and it jerks up when you stick your head in. Oh, okay. You do you. And he keeps walking. F L bye. All right, so y'all get back down to the cargo bay. The loving bay. I was going to untie him, but he looked like he was having fun. Mm-hmm. I used still croak. I more against my skin. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, y'all get back there. Uh, you know, Whip is sitting there, head on a swivel. Uh, the dog, uh, is, it, is the dog's, it's still got the little manipulators, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. I was actually ask, about to ask a silly question, mm -hmm. but I don't know if uh, it would work. Could we put him in a spacesuit, put him in a shipping container, and put the shipping container on the dog's back? Sure, or you could just strap him to the dog's back. I mean, yeah. You know, he's, he's going to be in a space suit. Yeah. So he's going to have enough air for, you know, several hours anyway. Yeah. Uh, but when you walk in, you know, like I said, whips heads on a swivel. Uh, and the, the dog is the dog is sitting there with his little manipulators. And it's like the manipulators are being held out in front of it and they keep going and then making different different shapes with the uh, manipulators. I just walks up. You two having fun? Uh, okay, so uh, we got we got a little more. I mean, we we, we keep it a sense of sweep going. We're not we're paying attention. Mm -hmm. Just a little Rochambeau to rock, pass paper, the time. Scissor game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like who's who's winning rock paper scissors. <laughs> uh, we've tied fifteen times. But that's out yeah, of 20. That sounds, but yeah, that sounds about right. I think we're using the, the same algorithm to pick our moves. Probably. She just shakes her head. I'll, I'll say to the to us, so to the workshop, uh, we got a lot to talk about when we get back. I just, I've been taking cursory looks at this at this data. Um, but oh, about the, the data. Finish the mission first. I thought there was going to be some kind of team building exercise. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I've been oh, watching okay. all of your performances, Me? and I have notes. Cortev points to his scar and his icy blue hair. Me? Hey, hey, I just, I have to. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to get in my head. She just keeps walking. You do that. Pap, paps the witch as she climbs in. Oh, your witch looks rough. Oh. It's all together, baby. Held together by duct tape and prayers. Whole lot of nanites. <laughs> Nanobots. The, nan um... the nanites are straining. Mm. Either to get in or get out. We don't know. No, I meant to hold the pieces together. <laughs> Alright, so you load up in the mix. Uh, now... Captain gets in his spacesuit. Do you just do you just put him on the on um, on the dog's back, or do you want to do the shipping container thing? I say the shipping container thing. Okay. Uh, put about a day's worth of oxygen in there. Well, oh. no, he's got a he's got a he's got a, a spacesuit. So yeah, he'll have the spacesuit regardless. Is can he mag clamp to the inside of the thing? So otherwise, he's just going to bounce around in like a dang pair. Yeah, he could he could mag clamp to that or mag clamp to the to the dog's back. Dog, yeah. Let's put him in the dog or in the thing on the dog. Dog. Yeah. Okay. So y'all put him in a little middle box. He's clamped there. Um, and also, we make sure health monitor is tied up to it, basically hooked up. Yeah, so. you can you can you can uh, link up to his to his spacesuit for that. Yeah, it's got built in monitors for stuff. Uh, so basically, he's he's not just sitting there, you know. Ty not that a shipping container is going to have a lot of give him a lot of armor, but Ty's got a video screen here that's basically so that she can see him, and she's just like 
Sorry, it couldn't be, you know, an actual seat. Uh, uh he's a prisoner of war. Uh, Just hold on. You're not you. You're not being unnecessarily cruel. And he and he understands not just having him sit sit on the on the back since you know he could potentially jump off at that point. Well, jump off and also with a shipping container, get hit. Yeah, yeah, with the shipping container, he's not jumping off. Uh, All right, let's get this show on the road. All right, so y'all all all load up. does anyone have, on their mechs have any HP that needed to be repaired? Uh, I'm at max HP, HP for my yeah, structure. Her her problem is just structure. <laughs> yeah. She's only got this she, uh, she's only got this one health track left, but it's a full health track. Hang on, let me... I had some damage to repair. Yeah, I have one damage, but I think I'm fine. Okay. But not necessarily anything you're gonna stop and spend a repair on. Uh, I will spend a repair. Whip was down to half, so. Okay. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, Cortev was down to. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so you gotta take a few minutes to get, you know, since you don't exactly know what you're gonna be walking back out into. Well, yeah. they're getting uh, ready. Can I use a quick action to prime Camus Razor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get that kind of stuff set up. Fantastic. Uh, Grid Space can deploy his his drones for y'all. Step out if he wants to. Have uh, just the one they usually have. I was about to say we had forgotten about the shield drone he was carrying around, but it never really came up. There was never really any violence around where he was at. Well, the violence was enacted against someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all didn't take any shots. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> but I'll I keep the guard I keep the guardian drone going. Okay. And I'll probably have an assassin out as well, but I can deploy that when we have like a proper map. I'm not sure if we're doing anything. Uh, no, no, not tonight. Okay. All right. So when you once y'all get ready, y'all exit through the nanite curtain. Mm-hmm. Uh, as soon as you're outside the ship, you start getting, <clears throat> you know, uh, messages from message from your uh, yeah, messages from your side. Yeah. Uh, you know the ship that brought you in. You know, as soon as they as soon as they pick up that you know that you're out where they get to, they can talk to you. Uh, they explain that they were attacked. They've had to pull back. Uh, the overall fleet commander or battle group commander, uh, Captain Miller. Mm-hmm. So I don't think I'd given him a name yep. previously. I don't think so. Uh. He is dispatching a different ship to come pick you up. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, the Shinar seem to be at least somewhat aware of what went on on the ship. Okay. Or, aware that the ship that Pete, that uh, some Union forces got on the ship. Not not that they know exactly what you did or what went down. But, uh, yeah. So they, they have a ship moving your direction as well. All right. Fly safe. Uh, May you get the buggies off your tail. Book it. So, what will we be doing next week? We have a whole half hour yet, still. Yeah. I know, but I don't have a map ready. I, I'd expected uh, the own ship stuff to take longer do, than this. We're uh, doing a GTFO out of Dodge. Uh, <laughs> yes, I did exactly what you're doing. Uh, Fair. Uh, both ships will basically be close to be engaging each other. Uh, <clears throat> and yeah, y'all will be y'all will just be trying to get to your ship while enemy lancers unloading from the other ship are going to attempt to stop you. Uh, or, you know, you know, try to stop you, try to rescue the captain, that sort of thing. Mm. Yeah. Uh... And yeah, I messed the timing up on this one. I didn't have enough time to... You're expecting us to be far more murder hobo. Creative. 
you know, I thought there might be more actual fighting, you know, with have to keep with hit points, and there just kind of wasn't. It just worked out. Yeah, I'm proud okay. of you, though. I'm proud of you, though. Yeah. Uh, All of us did I... good. All of us. <laughs> Vika, Uriah, Freddy, Cortev, we all did good. Ty <laughs> <laughs> uh, has a gut wound. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, Vika, hit, Vika used for the past. I know. Honor. I know. I know. It's all good. Put a hey, little hey. band-aid with a kitten on it. Yeah, I only mm-hmm. took two health. So I was. she's not. It's, just, and, it's like, uh, it's a flesh every, wound. All of a sudden, it like pans to like someone off to the side, and no one of value was lost. And Ty is sitting in the background with a gunshot in her chest, in her stomach, and she's like, "It's floating." <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. My 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 little medic is so good at assisting and murder. Anything else? Mm. Well, the trick is the way you assist in combat a lot still involves shooting. Yeah, you know, you still you know, a lot of times you're still shooting your friends. You you shoot them with a drone. Yeah, yeah I know, but it's like okay. <laughs> this is not what I built this character to do. But man, she's really good at doing it. But good lord, is she good at doing it? Not mm. because she's statted up that way. It's just the dice rolls. <laughs> yeah. Roll twenty says you are a harmacist. Embrace it. <laughs> Stop trying to be the rogue. If you fight against fate, you'll be miserable. But if you lean into fate, maybe you can gain a little bit of control. Oh, I leaned into fate, and I was trying to lean a little bit into the rogue side of the fate. And that, that it's no, no. You're a killer, not a, not a rogue. <laughs> You're a killer, a killer, and a healer. You can't do, you can't do that rogue crap. Don't do that. <laughs> You're do- you are literally Doctor McNinja without the stealth. <laughs> or, the, or the mustache. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I assume. I don't know. Mm. Uh, all right. So next week we will wrap up this mission with the escape. And any of you who survive, uh, we'll get some downtime as we go into the beach episode for the next mission. Uh, after, wait, beach episode is next week or the week after? No, 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 no. Next week we'll finish up this mission. Okay. And then the like, next mission, the, beach episode? the next mission will involve the, uh, the beach. Surely miss it, I will have to work the night. Play on hotel <clears throat> well, will... yeah, we'll see what time I get back. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Well, I hope you all had fun. I, I enjoyed this. <laughs> uh, it was not as bloody I'm as I thought base. it might end up being. I'm a baseball grenade. <laughs> After headshotting somebody. I've been playing back through Fallout 4 so I could totally picture the headshot. Just a normal Tuesday. For Ty. So anybody that comes by and watches the replay of this, uh, had fun. Hope you'll join us next week. Again, I was your storyteller for the evening, Jason. And with me tonight has been Sarah as Vika. Patrick as Freddy. Jeremy as Cortev. Eric as Uriah, and Carr as Tiana, the harmacist. (laughs) And we will see y'all next time. Good night, everybody.